I have worked for a day and a half and not been allowed to sit down. <laughs> Did you notice this is my first chair position? <laughs> Very excited. Hi, Jeremy, how are you? Hello, ya? it's good to be here. Casual shoes you got there. Yeah. yeah, I had to bring the party after Martha and Jim yesterday. I know, with the Martha Ritas and everything. Yeah. So yeah. cool. Um, so I'm super excited to chat about Pinterest, but let's talk about your background for a second. So. Uh, you are like a total digital media maverick. You've been building brands and finding commerce opportunities. I was just backstage with the CB2 people and they were like, oh, we love Jeremy. We've done all these programs with him when he was at Refinery and when he was at uh, Domino and all that. So can you give me a quick, super quick rundown of where you've been, yeah. what you do? Yeah, so I've been in the industry for 15 years. Um, I've largely been in advertising and media sales. I bought media for the first five years of my career. And then the last 10 years, I was selling media. I was at Refinery29 for six and a half years. Um, I just left uh, Domino back in April, the home magazine, the beloved home magazine, um, where I was in charge of their revenue operations. Um, and so I just joined Pinterest in April um, because we've launched original content, and that's what I'm here to talk to uh, today. Totally, so this is the whole thing. So it's been 11 years of Pinterest, um, and it's a really different platform now. And the platform itself and the reason that you're there and what you're doing is that the way we ingest media has completely changed. Yep. And you guys are keeping pace with that and you've really changed your product. So uh, I don't want to ruin the surprise, but like this idea that it was a place to go and sort of like see pins and collect is now a place to produce. Can you and tell create. me about and create? Talk yeah, about so that. I think in order to like set the conversation up, uh, appropriately, if we think about the way that we consume media, especially over the last five years, it really is in these ecosystems. And so the best two examples I can use are when I consume magazines, I use my Apple Newsreader. And Apple works directly with publishers to ensure that you're using the same gestures and the same functionality across your issue that other people are using in their issue so that the consumer has a very clean experience. Um, the second thing I love is if you think about TV and what's going on across the space, uh, Paramount Plus and NBC's Peacock recently opened up apps, um, and they've taken five to ten different channels and they put them all in one place, right? And so this app lives directly next to YouTube, which is very different content, but the gestures and the way that you get through that content are the same, though they're very different pieces of content. Um, and so at Pinterest, responding to the changes in meeting, responding to the things that pinners have always wanted, um, you know, we've recognized that this is probably the top platform for inspiration and creativity and for people to share and teach with each other. Um, and so we've introduced two new tools this year, the first of which is you can become an actual creator on Pinterest, and so you can gain a following. Um, and the second is through original content creation, and we launched a product called an Idea Pin, which is our first foray into original content creation that lives only on the platform. And conveniently, the queue for the video as well. Um, so <laughs> let's see if the video comes up. But Idea Pins are like the whole concept here, um, and it's a, yeah, a way of putting ideas together in both like, oh, hey, oh, hey. Love her. Yeah, and so Kelly Wurstler is someone who got on board very early on. Um, she's made a host of really engaging idea pins. She actually made an idea pin about making an idea pin. Um, and she's, she's welcome to the metaverse. Okay, that's also meta. <laughs> she's actually seen her following grow 10 to 15,000 followers almost on a weekly basis. Um, and so she's generating a very engaged community, and she's exposing you know different people to her content and what she creates as a business. Um, I think what's so important to remember when you think about Pinterest is we're not a social platform, we're not a social media company. We're a tech platform that is a, ver a visual discovery engine. And so when you create an idea pin on Pinterest, that content is evergreen. And the idea pin is there to create a, uh, and inspire and teach people something. You know, Ben, our CEO, loves to say that we're not looking for the most entertaining person. We're looking for people with an actual craft that want to share that craft, the how-tos, the behind-the-scenes, the inspiration of it all. And so, and, and so, like, just really nuts and bolts of you're using video, static imagery, like, text, things that we're used to using now to put that together? Yeah, so the idea pin is up to 20 pages. It's a mix of video and flat content. You can do voiceovers, there's stickers, 
There's product tagging with affiliate links. Um, there's a ton of different tools you can use. And what I've seen since running the home and design vertical is that designers sometimes don't want to be this big celebrity influencers. But you can use these idea pins to just create and teach your craft. So you can use voiceovers. You don't have to be a big YouTuber. You, know, you can put together just several different images with text overlay to show your work and to get it out in the space. Um, and I think that's a really compelling uh, uh, aspect to the idea pin is the malleability behind it. What if your craft is a big secret and you're just harboring it to make money off of? <laughs> If you, craft you can use it for other things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, the, the visual search engine idea and that both there's like an intake and a, and a um, creator quality is, it's different anyway, uh, and fun. I had a ton of fun and I think, I don't know, I, I, it still amazes me that video isn't something that's used more in our industry. Like I'm still waiting and please tell me if you know what it is, but I'm like, when I publish the parts of my home that are capable of being published, um, I would love it to be moving. Like it's a house, I move through the space, you know, relegating it to a static photo just doesn't do, it doesn't capture the feeling and the emotion of moving through a space that feels like home to me and that sort of bums me out. So DM me about your other video ideas and needs <laughs> and like an idea pin can be one of those places. I think it's just, um, it is the right evolution. Um, so I have to ask about like KPIs and metrics because even those of us who like no, used to use something like Instagram or social media for fun, you know, inevitably you're faced with numbers. You start counting those numbers. You start watching when they rise and fall. And what used to be sort of like an exercise becomes a bit of a chore. Um, this sort of offers a fresh start. And you had a really interesting take on just followers. So tell us, like, what should we be paying attention to? How do we, I guess, create success? And what are those benchmarks to look for? Or should we just, like, chill the F out? Well, no, so th that's the coolest part about Pinterest, right? So it, it is, first and foremost, a visual search engine. And so when you create an idea pin, it's evergreen. So I have 540 followers on Pinterest, but my content sees over 500 to a million views per month because you tag it with a topic. And so if someone is looking for a unique way to organize their kitchen, I did an idea pin, and mine will pop up. You know, I'm getting I, I, pins from six months ago. I'm getting saves and likes on them as early as this morning. Um, and so as a creator on a platform, you don't necessarily have to do this game where you're just trying to gain tons and tons of followers because if you're creating good content and you're tagging it the right way, you're still gonna get the exposure in terms of views. And so when I go back to Kelly Wurstler, she has over 230,000 followers, but she sees upwards of 20 million views to her content wow. because her idea pins are evergreen and it is first and foremost of uh, a visual search engine. Right, so actually the, the tool is getting, <laughs> get the people what they want. <laughs> like right. They do want that. And, and I think that's one of the most frustrating aspects of a lot of media that we use today is like, OK, I know what I need. And I, and I have a, yeah, I have a mission. And um, that seems to be working. Um, OK, commerce. So you guys aren't just like having fun and playing with pretty pictures. Like This is a commerce engine. You have, uh, I'm not even going to go into it. I'm going to let you do it. Tell me about the commerce piece. Yeah, so this is, this, I mean, this is essentially why I came to Pinterest, right? So being in advertising for 15 years, you care about two things. You care about the eyeballs, the amount of eyeballs, how engaged they are to wherever you're working or whatever you're buying. And the second part is the mindset. And so at Pinterest, we're much further down the funnel of purchase, right? We go to Pinterest to be inspired. We go there to learn. We go there to figure out what lamp do I want in my living room? How am I going to redecorate my, you know, my kitchen or my bedroom? And so you're much further down the actual purchase funnel when you're on Pinterest in terms of your mindset. These people are so deep down the purchase funnel, you have no idea. <laughs> like, but designers, yeah. I mean, you're just constantly shopping. I mean, right. discovery, so shopping. discovery is the thing. Exactly. And so um, we have an integration with Shopify where you can integrate uh, and create ads very easily. Um, you can also be featured in our shop tab. Um, and then we have affiliate linking within the idea pins. But if you think about your business of what you're doing, and everyone in this room is tied to home and design in some, some capacity, this is an audience of 450 million people. 89 million of those people come directly for home and design content. So if you're creating an engaged ecosystem and you're building engaging idea pins that are getting a lot of traction, your business is going to see a lot more traction overall because you're further down the purchase funnel when you're in the ecosystem. Yeah, and as a designer, as a brand, it's interesting to see yeah, how easy that is for them to be able to tag an idea and let people shop from it. And so with Shopify and these tools, like that really makes sort of a turnkey approach. It's pretty, yeah. pretty advanced there, Jeremy. Yep. Good job. 
Um, <laughs> tell us how to get started. So uh, business account, is that right? I've got a right, so couple of seconds room, left. So what is, what's the next step? Everyone in the room, make sure you have the latest app because we're a tech company, we're always tweaking it. Um, make sure you have a business account because it gives you all the analytics. You can see which content is performing across the space when you're creating it. Um, the plus button at the bottom of your app allows you to create an idea pin. It's the same experience on desktop. Um, and then it's, it's pretty tutorial based. You, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I have a, a team at Pinterest, uh, Karina from our home and design verticals in the lobby with a blue iPad. We do monthly sessions specifically for home and design where you join a massive Zoom meeting and we give you do a Q&A. We roll out the latest product tweaks and we help you use the platform. So I encourage you to sign up for that. Um, and I think that that is just it, it, the opportunity from a business perspective is why I came over. Um, and you know, we're seeing a lot of success with designers who've had mild to moderate success on other platforms because it's so hard to gain following and to get your content seen. But when you're a virtual or a visual search engine, your content is seen by search and then also by following. And so we're seeing people like Matt Sanders, who he did, he redesigned Miley Cyrus's house about eight months ago, and he created a bunch of idea pins around his thoughts and why he did it. And it was interesting because Pinterest trends are all the things that our consumers are, are searching for. And he used those trends to help him design Miley's house, and he put it in the idea pen, and it's performing exceptionally well. It's really um, cool. Also, the so, Miley house. So good. So Neon. Good. <laughs> Neon. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy, so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was fun.